Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini. Today I am going to share a very very simple sambar recipe that too with beetroot. Have you ever tried a sambar with beetroot? This sambar will become nice red in color. So let's start how to make it. Very very simple, the basic ingredients, whatever ingredients we use for our regular sambar, the same way you can make it. But only thing we are going to add the beetroot. So here I have the beetroot, I have peeled the skin and cut into nice big pieces. If you want you can cut into lens, cubes, whichever way you want you can just cut it but into big pieces. So to make this sambar, today I am going to make the sambar paste fresh. So here to make that sambar paste we are going to add first some oil, very little. And in this we are going to add some ingredients and just roast it. So here I have some dry red chilies and some urad dal, just 1-1 one, one tablespoon should be good enough and some chana dal and some coriander seeds and for you know little bit extra spiciness I am adding some peppercorns and first we are going to just cook this in oil till you get a nice little bit color not too much and we are going to add some fresh coconut also and the tomatoes also but these tomatoes usually we add it in the last once our sambar is done but today I am going to make this a paste so first I am going to add some coconut then in the last I am going to add the tomatoes also so you can see we got little bit color now add the tomatoes also I have just taken two tomatoes if you want you can add little bit of salt also and in a very very slow flame we are going to cook this so dear friends you know just cook it for 2 to 3 minutes that's it and just switch off the flame and once this is cooled down we are going to make a nice paste out of this mixture and this we are going to use it in our sambar so I am just going to keep this aside and once this is cooled down then I am going to paste it so in this another bowl to make our sambar just we are going to add some oil once the oil is hot then we are going to add regular tempering how we temper our you know regular sambar so dear friends once the oil is hot just add some cumin seeds some mustard seeds and today I'm not going to use the onions if you want you can add onions also and some hink and some methi seeds that is fenugreek seeds and green chilies you know you can just add little bit because we already added good amount of red chilies and the peppercorns and some turmeric and some dry red chilies and some curry leaves also and now we are going to add little bit water and then we are going to add our beetroot you know usually we add the tamarind juice and you know the sambar paste but today I have added the water first and then the beetroot so I want first the beetroot to be cooked perfectly then I am going to add the sambar paste and the dal in the last we are going to add the tamarind juice so this beetroot takes some time and in this we are going to add some salt I added very little salt in the sambar paste so here I am adding some more of salt and this I am going to cook it for you know 5 to 6 minutes or you know till your beetroots are nice and soft so dear friends after 5 minutes of slow cooking you can see it is nicely boiling and you can see nice red color also so here you can see I have nicely blended into nice fine paste you can add some water also and make it into a nice paste this also we are going to add it I am going to add some water also into the blender and add this and we are going to cook this for another you know 4 to 5 minutes and then we are going to add the dal so dear friends you know after slow cooking for another 4 minutes you know just remove the lid you know the best way when you add the vegetables if you want you can use a pressure cooker and just cook for one whistle and that's it your vegetables will be done and this will become little more faster so here our beetroot has nicely cooked and you can see this is nice red color in this we are going to add the dal so this is our regular tuar dal what I did is I boiled and I mashed it little bit and kept it ready in this we are going to add the dal you know you can just add how much quantity of dal you need you can just add it mix it once and now we are going to add the tamarind juice as I said we are going to add it last so here is the tamarind juice 
how much sourness you want based on that you can just add the tamarind juice and we are going to add some jaggery also to give little bit of that sweetness and just mix it once and check the taste mm. now I got the punch you know little bit of that sourness and little bit sweetness not too much very very nice and last we are going to add some finely chopped coriander and some freshly grated coconut you know my husband always says you know hotel style sambars they make you know like this little bit fresh coconut they use so that's it this is ready and we are going to simmer it for one minute and then switch off the flame our nice beetroot sambar will be ready so friends after one minute of simmering you can see our sambar is nice and thick because we added good amount of tomatoes coconut and you know the chana dal and coriander everything we made it into nice paste so that's why our sambar is nice and thick this is like hotel style now you can just switch off the flame and now enjoy with nice white rice beside papad this tastes so so yummy so some sambar on top of the rice and some beetroot and this is ready to wow my husband loves sambar like anything and whenever he eats rice with sambar we can't see rice in the sambar we just see the sambar only so he enjoys the sambar more and rice very very little like this mm. If I am going to give this, he will enjoy it like anything. And besides the papad mm. and the beetroot also you can see it is perfectly cooked. It is not mashed at all. Little bit hot but it is very very nice and simple. So dear friends make this and enjoy with your family. And see you in another session with some more recipes that too home style.